this wasn't one of those cases. I encourage people to go read up more on um, on uh, the, the Johnson case. And have you had some situations like this where you had to do this as governor? Oh, absolutely. And, and it's a tough call. I mean, I had a thousand cases a year that would come to my desk, uh, carried out the death penalty more than any governor <clears throat> in the history of the state. Not something that I would take any pleasure in because it's a horrible, horrible thing to have to do. Um, but I also probably issued a record number of commutations, not as many outright pardons. And there's a difference. A lot of people use that term interchangeably. Oh. Very different. But Stephen, here's the reason. A lot well, for of people who don't cases, know really quickly, I, I know you know, yeah. but for people who don't know, pardon basically erases the conviction. Mm -hmm. a, a pardon conviction. says you're no longer a felon. You can right. vote. You can buy guns. It's as if you never committed the crime. Commutation reduces the sentence. And most of the time, a commutation reduces it to time served. Right. In her case, she walked out the door. In some cases, you commute to a specific term. Let's say a person has been given 60 years. They've served five. You commute it down to 10. And maybe they serve two more years and then they get out on parole. So there's a lot of different. All of it is under the banner of clemency. Right. But what I was going to point out is that, uh, you know, a lot of liberals say that they believe in sentencing reform. That is until a conservative actually does one. I can right. tell you there's no political upside to Donald Trump having done this. The conservatives, a lot of them will be mad at him and the liberals will never, ever, not one time give him any credit for looking at this African-American grandmother, great grandmother, and uh, stepping in and writing a, a, an injustice in the disproportionate sentence. So, you know, I experienced this when I would do one and people say, oh, you need to, you know, commute this sentence. I do it. And guess who beat me up the most? The left. Yeah. Because they didn't want me to get credit for having a heart. They wanted to say that conservatives, uh, you know, hate people. Well, especially and, minorities. And that's a it's soft not way true. of doing that is you, they invent, well, I hate the term compassionate conservative. They create, well, I'm a compassionate conservative, implying that all other conservatives are what? I just say, no, 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 I'm, I'm a conservative. Don't, don't hit me with yeah. that label. But final question on this, and then I want to move on to the Philadelphia Eagles. Let me ask you this, because in Sweden, they basically get glorified apartments, right, for prison. Do you think that prison should be more about punishment or rehabilitation? Because in Europe, it's so far the other way, where it's almost not a punishment in some of these countries. And in the United States, a lot of them don't get rehabilitated. And that's one issue where I've talked about. I, I, I go back and forth. I think they need to be punished, but I don't know that the system works. Well, I can assure you that when you lose your freedom, it is a punishment. And, you know, people used to say, all oh, these people in prison, they've got it so, so well, so good. Well, they don't. I've been to every prison in my state and I always said, if you ever hear that I've committed a crime and it's a state crime, I guarantee it's a lie because I would never do something that would subject me to spending one night in one of our prisons. I ran them. I knew them well. I would never want to be there. If I commit a crime, by gosh, it's federal because right. they're a lot better in their prisons. But but having said that, be um, selective. There you go. That's that's the headline. Uh, that's right. Mike, Governor Mike Huckabee says be selective in your crime. Commit federal. If you're going to yeah. commit a crime, well, well, do a there. federal that. do a federal offense. Um, but, you know, I think what we have to recognize is that uh, the real goal ought to be correction. I mean, that's the goal we have with our own children, isn't it? Right. If our children do something that's wrong, it's not that we want to punish them because we get some delight in watching them suffer. Our delight comes when their behavior is corrected. Now, in order to do that in the uh, really penal system, uh, the necessity is making sure that whatever adjudication is given, it not only fits the crime, but it has the best likelihood of bringing the, in, uh, the outcome uh, to be some level of correction. Yeah. Let me give you an example, Stephen. 88% of all the inmates in the Arkansas prison system are there for a drug or alcohol-related crime. They were either drunk or high when they committed the crime, or they committed the crime to get drunk or high. Yeah. Put that into focus. What we need is not more people locked up. We need more people who are in some type of effective treatment program that gets them out of the drug and alcohol addiction. And I'll be very blunt with you. The only programs that I've seen effectively work are faith-based programs, and those have to be voluntary for the inmate. You can't force people into a faith-based program, but it's the only thing that works right. because these 
are people messed up on the inside and you can't just change their behavior uh, by reconditioning. And it's a vicious them. cycle. Like you said, they're either they're either doing it because they're drunk or high or doing it to get drunk or high. It's, it's the wild turkey or the egg uh, uh, classic. <laughs> or going to therapy so they can get back out and get drunk and high. Yeah, exactly. I, I know someone who they, their their uh, relative, I will not say who, but this person knows who they are, uh, went to the insane asylum a long time ago. And she was so manipulative and so difficult, they opened the door and said, please leave. You are free to go. So hopefully a little bit better than that.